periodically live on Twitch. What is this? So strange. It seems like Asta and Arlen are in trouble. Still, it all sounds like hearsay to me. I better keep them in the dark for now. Himiko seems to be on good terms with the folks in the space station. Maybe I should tell her first. It must be difficult for Asta. Being the lead researcher isn't easy. As soon as the Legion exits stage right, in comes the gossip. How does that saying go again? Greet enemies outside with a smile, greet enemies inside with a sword. Such is the Herda company culture. <laughs> Herda doesn't really have anything to do with it. I'm afraid wherever you find people, you find gossip of some variety. Are you thinking of getting involved? Well, while these rumors have nothing to do with us, they do concern the reputation of young Asta. And turning a blind eye is not the way of the nameless. Solving a matter like this won't be difficult. Predictably, the crowd cares more about the drama than the facts. Stopping the rumors from brewing is more important right now than laying out the truth. And it's better to unearth the source of the rumors directly than to painstakingly try to refute them one by one. <laughs> You're a smooth talker. I have a friend. They say there isn't a single piece of station gossip she doesn't know about. First of all, it's not me. Secondly, I don't make friends just for the sake of gossip. It's just that my friend is pretty amazing, and I think you might be able to extract some information from her. Let's see. Right now, she's probably slacking off somewhere outside the department. I don't know her real name, but she calls herself Gossip Monk. All right. Where's the garbage bin? I can't see anyone slacking off. Maybe Gossip Monger isn't around? The rumors are already circulating. Let's gather some intel first. 
Have you heard anything from Gossipmonger? Is the lead researcher really that corrupt? Who exactly is this whistleblower? Hey, aren't you off work today? <laughs> I couldn't not come in after checking my phone. Days off aren't as juicy as gossip. Ah, well, too bad. <laughs> I haven't seen Gossipmonger this morning. You should rest up and wait for more news. Oh, <sighs> you're right. Why are you still here? Didn't your department call you to prepare for the emergency operation? Uh, no. I just sneaked out for a little while. What are the odds? I got a group message two minutes ago saying that something's happened in the special purpose lab. Somebody's trapped. The security department's blocked off the area around the entrance. The special purpose lab? Then wouldn't Pamela, I, I mean, gossip monger, be... Most likely. No wonder she's not here right now. The walkways around the Special Purpose Lab have been temporarily closed off. Please keep your distance. I'm afraid this is a live situation. It's too dangerous. Wait. Brother Arlen told me about you. If you insist on going, then I wish you the best of luck. Be safe. All right. Your brother Arlen's friend. The security department received information about sightings of Legion remnants in the vicinity. However, we just confirmed that there are monsters here that have never been seen before. The security department sectioned off the area immediately, but we lost contact with some people. Did Arlen ask you to investigate? Great, I I've made some new discoveries. Did you see it? Look. It seems like the rumors about the station are true. There are Stellaron traces here. Huh? Good luck figuring that out. All I know is that monsters have destroyed the power supply installations here. The elevator is out of commission, so the people stuck on the floor below can't make it up. Maybe you can help us restart the central elevator? There are plenty of backup power sources in the storage zone. Right opposite, if I remember right. As soon as we can restart the power supply, we can get this elevator working and rescue everyone. Alright. The combat report will be ready. Battery. Battery. That's all of them. I have to make the way all, all the way back there. Well, did you find the backup power source? I guess. <sighs> Thank goodness you're here. Give me a moment. I'll give the elevator a little shake up. All right, you can use it now. Be safe. Storage, okay. monster over there we we didn't dare to go over on our own huh please save her we'll, we'll take the elevator up please all right chase these For. Huh? Of course. Not only did I know you were coming, but I also know why. <laughs> you want to know who Richard Know It All from the Heritor Group is, don't you? Fans of Madame Herta, they call themselves the Heritors. I'm a businesswoman, and we play by our own rules. If you want the scoop, you have to pay the price. 
We can just leave you here. <laughs> Certainly not. I have a very clear notion of how much different favors cost. I don't have any particular hobbies. <laughs> I do indulge in a little tittle tattling here and there, not to mention admiring of a certain scientist. Creepy. And now here you are, vanquishing monsters left, right, and center. I heard you're with the Astral Express. <laughs> How fortunate. As it happens, I'm a huge fan of Himiko. An amalgamation of beauty, brains, the epitome of a graceful and gentle scientist. <laughs> This is making me uncomfortable. Can you help me take a high def portrait photo of Himiko smiling? Please? Uh, make sure you capture her electrifying smile. The one that stuns people into a trance. That a million volt smile. <laughs> I appreciate young, brave, talented people like yourself. You need a life, lady. A superbly beautiful, dazzling, electrifying portrait shot of Himiko in exchange for the secret behind Richard Know-It-All. Send the picture over when you have it. I'm always fair when it comes to haggling. Unsettling. Did you find Gossip Monger? What did she say? She got creepy. <laughs> I knew she was weird. Uh, there are many types of friend. She's the type you can only stay friends with if you never meet her. It's okay. It's just a picture. I don't mind. Go ahead. Let me see. Hey, you're pretty good. Huh? What are you taking pictures of? Why do you sound so nervous all of a sudden? Suspicious. Why is this thing floating? I didn't expect to see you here. Didn't you say you were really busy? Uh, I am. The Legion has only just retreated. The station is in absolute shambles. Now any progress in rebuilding things has been ruined by the reappearance of the Fragmentum. Oh. An act of Stellaron is rarely a cause for celebration. What did Herta say about the Fragmentum's appearance? <laughs> you know what she's like. It's like nothing's happened. She's just sitting back and giving orders. If there's time later, I want to talk to you both in more detail about this. You're the Fragmentum experts, after all. Anytime. Uh, I need to go. Someone's taken my family encryption key. You know, the one I used to withdraw my allowance? I need to get to the bottom of it. might be the whistleblower's so-called evidence. Looks like you don't have much time to lose. Creepy.
doesn't fit Gossip Monger's descriptions. She said, a young man with black rimmed glasses and a slanted fringe. You are? And you are? Rumors? More like a formal complaint. So, you're here about the lead researcher's corruption. Anything for a good story, huh? I don't get it. You people live your lives for gossip. Wouldn't it be better to apply that drive to your research? Madame Herta would be delighted to see everyone working so hard. What encryption key? Have you been reading too many novels? You think there's some hidden air on this space station with keys to the family coffers? Less fantasizing, more researching. Got it? All right, you want the scoop? Fine. I backed it all up anyway. Here, take it. And let it be known that I, Richard Know-It-All, do not spread rumors. Yeah, right. This is the receipt. See the title on this purchase order? That's what I call substantive evidence. <laughs> of course it is. If I had any doubt, I'd have kept it quiet. I had picked it up a few days ago when I was collecting a package. I saw a few receipts requiring the lead researcher's signature. The security department's head honcho, Arlen, he left pretty quickly when he saw him. We all know he's on her side anyway. So I had a peek, and whoa, she's buying equipment for the space station under her own name. <laughs> I've got her now. Jeez, oh, do I really have to break it down for you? The space station has its own financial procedures. As long as the purchase is for the space station, no matter how big or small, it has to go through the organizational account using the station's allocated funds. The payer here is her private account. She's totally embezzling station funds for herself. I'm so disappointed, so hurt. She looks like a sweet enough girl, but not only did she fail to repay Madame Herta for promoting her, she even stooped to this. I was so angry, I was shaking. I broke out in a cold sweat. That amount of money, herself? Who do you think she is, Fleming's daughter? Anyway, now you know everything, so leave me alone. I still need to write a report about this for Madame Herta. Seems like it's all just a scare. But it's easy to make rumors and hard to dispel them. I better let Asta know. money like this this isn't wasting money the IPC's budget is so stringent and oh the process takes so long by the time my application would have gone through too much time would have been wasted do you know how much hardware was destroyed when the Legion attacked and how many cables are currently out of order on the station How is it my fault when I'm spending my own money to solve everyone else's problems? Give my encryption key back! I won't! You... Who gave you the right to tell me what to do with my money? You did! done that, but this doesn't count as wasting money. Uh, how is it not wasting money? We lost that binding device you bought during the Legion's invasion. All you had to do was check the inventory, and we could have replaced it. Why did you make a new order? Shopaholic. And that Starnot fleet from the last time? Ah, 
I did make an order, but it didn't go through. I was just trying to improve security measures to make sure attacks like this don't happen again. It, if the money wasn't spent, then it doesn't count. Anyway... Whew. Are you here for something? Ugh, please, tell me why you're here. So, you think Richard was the one who stole my encryption key. So, he was the one who started the rumors. Huh, that fits. It feels like she's not surprised. I'll deal with that immediately. Please don't worry, Miss Asta. Go, go, wait! Leave the encryption key here. That's a separate issue. We'll talk about the encryption key later. Uh, how can you...
podcast. 